I have not said anything about Sakahola. I've said nothing about it. Because I didn't have anything to say. But what I have, I will say. I know the government is still doing its investigation. But I want to tell the government, it is beyond human investigation. Shakahola, it is the demonic altar of the land in East Africa. It is the altar where all false preachers, prophets, who have been looking for power from the world of darkness, they have been taking their sacrifices there. And that is where they have been sacrificing human beings. So the bodies that are being found from Sakahola, it's not about Mackenzie alone. It's not Mackenzie one person. There is no way Mackenzie one person can kill over 100 people and people don't know. Those people were brought there by different prophets, by different pastors for sacrifice of humans. And so those graves were just put there ready and each grave when it reached a certain level of bodies it could be buried the people who are found in the forest and the people who are found in the forest fasting they were not fasting those were people especially children and women they were people who were possessed demons and so they were put there for demon to use them sexually spiritually and blood sucking spiritually and it's so painful that some of these pastors they have big churches performing miracles at the cost of human blood Mackenzie you know all the people because you are the priest of that place name them call them by names because you know them I knew it was just a matter of time God will reveal either in one of us what was happening in Sakahola. And so many names of pastors, so many names of bishops, if Mackenzie start naming them, some people, people will not believe. That's why the government has been bribed by these people and is receiving a lot of money to protect them. And that's why the government has put off the media from reaching Sakahola and other people. Because if people get into Sakahola thing, the church is going to be amused. And the shame, the shame that is going to fall upon some bishops in this country, some bishops in East Africa, some major prophets in East Africa, some powerful evangelists in East Africa. It's going to be an amazing. Because Shakahola was not a land. Shakahola was not bought by Mackenzie alone. Mackenzie was the person on the front line. Hayo yalikuwa madhabahu ya kutoa kafara kwa watu ambao wana mashirika na ufalme wa kuzimu. Na majority yao ni wanasiasa na waubiri. The people involved there are politicians, preachers, and great businessmen. That is where they were going to sacrifice humans. Some 